John Lott Jr. He's the president of Crime Prevention Research and that center. He's an expert on the issue. So this man has actually written the book, The War on Guns, so you can imagine why we would want to have him on right now. Well, joining me now from Washington is John Lott. He is the president of the Crime Prevention Research Center and author of The War on Guns. Do more guns necessarily mean that there's a greater level that a person is going to be the victim of a crime? No, I think the opposite's true. and 314 for a shooting at Century Theaters, 14 300 East Alameda Avenue. They're saying somebody's shooting in the auditorium. Police are extremely important in protecting people. I think they're the most important factor, but I think the police themselves understand that they virtually always arrive on the crime scene after the crimes occurred. And the question is, what should people do when they're having to confront a criminal by themselves? And by far the safest course of action is to have a gun. We have over half the murders in the United States take place in 2% of the counties. And if you look at within those counties there's usually two or three areas small areas within those counties that account for the vast majority of those murders you know it'd be nice if we didn't have a drug gang problem in the united states but the solutions to them are quite different than going and talking about banning guns i mean you, these drug gangs can go and bring in illegal drugs from other countries they can go and bring in guns Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel and consider donating to the Heartland Institute to support more vibrant free markets, greater individual liberty, and more videos like this one.